everybody um i apologize i missed the sermon last week um it's a long story and i'll tell you about it later but for now um i just want to go into chapter 7 of john and then after that i'll try to add another sermon to make up for last week um later on today but i wanted to get this first one started so Let's start in prayer. Thank you, God, for all your blessings. And thank you that uh, even though we have some things going on now with the C-19 thing, that you're really helping so many people in so many ways and that uh, we'll all get through this. And uh, this is just part of your plan to help make us better Christians for you. And thank you for giving us your son so we can be forgiven of our sins. And thank you for Jesus sending the helper so we can try to to do good and not to sin and to try to love our brothers, even to love those, love our enemies, or love everybody in the world as much as we can. I ask these things in Jesus' name. And also, Lord God, please send your Holy Spirit and the helper to help us understand your word as we go through it now. Chapter seven of John, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so I'm gonna start reading and uh, I'm in a situation here where I don't have my Bible, but I have my wife's Bible, which was used to be mine. I, I was in England and I was walking around and yeah. I was at the church. I'm doing the sermon, love. I'll be done in 15 minutes. I'm yeah, doing the sermon now, love. To go. Okay. To, but, you, to, to, be, to go your work. Ready right okay. this second. He's He's got the key in his hand. Okay. He's got so the key. Many, uh, how, how, how? Five minutes. Five minutes? Is he ready, walking out the door now? Yeah. He's ready. Give me five minutes. So let's, um, sorry about that. Um, but I wanted to do this. I don't want to wait any longer. So five minutes. Um, anyways, this is the Bible that my, that was walking in England and um, I just walked by and they were giving free donuts at the church and I saw that someone out there started talking and I told them, you know, I need to go to the bathroom. I said, yeah, come on in the church. And I went in the church and the pastor prayed over me and when he said he prayed over me he told me when you read the bible focus on angels and then um he gave me after that he gave me the bible and uh, an umbrella to go my way because there in oxford it rains all the time so they gave me an umbrella and the bible and um and then he uh they gave me donuts and coffee that was good so anyways let me start reading um, I might have to do this in two parts because uh, someone's waiting for me and I like to stick to my word. I have five minutes here. So chapter seven, after this, Jesus went around in Galilee, purposely staying away from Judah because the Jews there were waiting to take his life. But when the Jew, the Jewish feast of Tabernacle was near, Jesus' brother said to him, so Jesus had some brothers. I think this is his real brothers. I don't think this is his Christian brothers, but it could be his Christian brothers, but I think it's his real brothers. You ought to leave here and go to Judah so that your disciples may see the miracles you do. No one. So there, there Jesus' brothers are kind of discipling to him in a way. Uh, I, I don't know. I want to be careful what I say, but anyways. No one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret. Amen. So, you know, that's for us as Christians. We need to, first thing, set a good example. Um, and then we need to try to, you know, throw some seeds out into, you know, to about the word. And we were the other day, we were at a reservoir and some people came by and they were very nice people. And they just started talking about all the things they did and, and then I started thinking, you know, how do you bring up this subject, of, you know, Jesus? And I, you know, I told my wife, I go, let's ask them if they know about Jesus. And for some reason, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, but I just was contemplating how to do it. And then I thought later on, well, if we had little Bibles in our in our pocket after we made friends with them, we could just say, hey, we want to give you something. We can here's a you know, give them a little Bible, and they might come back to us and say. Um, Oh, we already know about Jesus. We can say, okay, well, just pass the Bible to somebody else. And, you know, that way we're, you know, we're throwing some seeds out there. So, um, I don't know how far I'm going to get here because I think they want me to go. But 
Um, I might have to stop soon, but uh, no one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret since you are doing these things. So I guess his brothers were thinking Jesus wanted to be a public figure. I'm not sure about that, but there's a lot into this Bible reading. They're so, so deep, you know, it seems like some people, oh, that's very simple. It's not that simple. There's a lot of deep deepness in, in what's going on here and it all fits together. Um, it really all does fit together. So then, uh, since you are doing these things, show yourself to the world. For even his own brothers did not believe in him. Oh boy. His own flesh and blood brothers didn't believe in Jesus. And Jesus is standing right there in front of them. And I mean, think about it, you know, it's like, just goes to show you that, um, um, that there's maybe some are, many are called, but few are chosen. I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe some just will never believe, uh, but we don't know who those are. And we have to send the seeds out to, for those that can't, that will believe. Um, so, um, but it does give us some hope in our, sometimes we have a little bit of lack of belief and we can look and say, oh, well, um, yeah, his brothers didn't believe. And even on the boat, they didn't, you know, trust right away, but then they trusted him. And even, you know, at first, um, Peter was doubting, but then he believed, you know, as the other disciples already believed that Jesus had risen from the dead. We covered that today in, in the Bible study at church. But I think I'm going to stop there because uh, Patrick's waiting for me to go. He's going to show me his work and everything. So let's see. And I'll, 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 I'll have part two. And I think we cover a lot here. So that was the first. It's hard for me to read this here because it's small. That's the very, very beginning of John. So I'll follow up with a sec part two. Okay, let's pray. Uh, thank you, God, for this time so we can review your word, so we can know what you want us to do. As Jesus said, um, those who, who listen to me and do what I say are my brothers and sisters. And he also said, um, as I as I uh, I did what God told me to do, um, you know, that we should do what Jesus told him to do, and that's what in His Word. So uh, thank you, God, for this and all the words that Jesus shared, and all the words that are shared to us in the Bible to help us to know how to live our lives. And that um, there's so many things in the world that people put importance to that. Really, sometimes all these things are make, well, actually all these things make things more complicated and there's so much to gain from just following your, your words and being at peace. As you just said, peace be with you when he came back, when he was, when he came back to the disciples the first night after he was resurrected and, and then the second night too, he came to all of them. The first night, um, Peter wasn't there for some reason and, um, he didn't see Jesus, so he told the other disciples that he didn't believe unless he could put his hand in the cuts of Jesus. And then when Jesus came the second night through the locked door, he told the Peter, you know, put your hand here and feel that, you know, this is, I'm really me. So that helps us to have faith that, you know, even sometimes we lose a little bit of our, you know, belief here and there, or it's the voice of the evil one telling us not to believe. We don't listen to that because we know that Jesus is real. And I ask that you help everyone to let the seed grow in them from hearing this path, this message today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. See you next time. God, God bless all. And remember, do what Jesus told you to do and you'll be